gather together that's in that right. day. Amen. But that's not the ultimate thing. Mm -hmm. The ultimate thing isn't our being able to be together in one. Mm -hmm. It's our being integrated into Christ and the Father. That's mm -hmm. the main right. thing. Amen. 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 Above anything else, that is the main thing. So you've got to see, I, I've had a really hard time this morning bringing this thing out. But that's the main thing. When God is conforming us, He's conforming us so that we can have greater and deeper fellowship with Him. That's Amen. the main thing to God, is for that to happen. And as you find, you'll find that this is the case. Whenever, as you become more like Christ, you will have richer fellowship with the Father. That's the way it works. Because that's the design of the work of salvation. Jesus, when He died, how appropriate that He's thinking about this kind of a time. When we're going to be joined with Him. Of course, because he, when he dies, he lays a foundation for that work to get get, get underway. Mm -hmm. But he said, in my Father's house are many mansions. He says, yeah. if it were not so, I would have told you. He said, I go and prepare a place for you. Yeah. That where I am, yeah, where I am, there you may also be. Mm -hmm. And we can't be with him yet, totally, because we have things in us that aren't like him. Like the body. Yeah. That's what he's saying. That's what he's saying. Those mansions he's talking about, there's a body up there mm -hmm. that further conforms you That's right. to the image of Christ. Amen. You're going to have a body like unto his glorious body. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And when that happens, it's going to happen what the psalmist said. When you awake with his likeness, yeah. mm -hmm. you'll be satisfied. Mm -hmm. That's a marvelous truth to see. And that's already underway. It's already in, 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 in the work now. As he conforms us more to his image, he's just abiding in us. Mm -hmm. We're having fellowship with him. But one day, that is going to culminate. Now, <clears throat> as a conclusion, I, I, I just wanted to say, as a, I always like to leave at least a, a small word of exhortation because I can see the direction of the text and what a great application. There's a lot of application here, so I'll just give you one. When you think of all these things, the confirmation to the image of Christ, how it's underway, and how necessary it is, to be joined to one another and to be joined to the Lord. I mean, you're not going to get into heaven if you're not like Christ. That's right. That's right. So this isn't a nicety. This is like a critical matter. We yeah. have to. It just has to happen. Mm -hmm. Then you can see the necessary element of the Spirit's ministry here, because we are changed as we look to the Lord through the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Amen. As by the Spirit mm -hmm. of the Lord. Now I'll tell you how serious it is to not obey the exhortation. It's just four words, but I'll tell you, it's a pretty, pretty serious exhortation. Quench not the Spirit. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Amen. This. How can confirmation take place without the Spirit's ministry? I mean, is God just going to kind of, someone's just going to ignore the Spirit all through life, and God's just going to make it up in the end and just make sure to conform them on the inside so He fits in. Is that going to happen in the end? No. This is a critical thing to see. Amen. You know, of the need to follow the Spirit. Mm -hmm. As the Spirit guides you daily, and whatever He guides you to do, sometimes He'll guide you to pray. Pray for yourself. Pray for others. Sometimes He'll guide you into some kind of a ministry, something, something to do. Sometimes He'll guide you away from sin. Of sell, send up the alarm. Stay away from this. But this thing, there's, this will help you to continue to follow the Spirit's ministry, that in all these things, the greater thing the Spirit is doing is conforming you more to the image of Christ. That's right. Amen. And particularly in this time when you're in the Word and the Spirit's opening these things to you. He's helping to conform you to the image of Christ. So it's critical, brethren, that in every way the Spirit leads us to continue to submit to what He's doing. Amen. To cultivate that submission. Mm -hmm. Because He's going to make you like Christ. In the end, you're going to be glad for having obeyed and followed the Spirit's ministry. And you're going to end up completely like him. Mm -hmm. You'll be like him as he is. So, mm -hmm. thank you, brothers, for your time. Amen. Amen. Amen.